This is Jeremy with HJH Adventures and the power is out in Worcester, but that's okay because the side hustle is still on. Now this alters my plans for today, but hey, you wanted to see an unboxing anyway. So I'm at the $25 storage unit area facility. I figure since my power's out, I better check and make sure their power is still on. And that way I'll go grab my trailer, bring it back, we'll do an unboxing video. So let's see together. Let me unplug here because I just got plugged in and we're gonna see if this actually works or not. Don't tell anybody the code. One, six, five, one, six, seven pound, and it did nothing. Let me try again. It's access granted, but it's not doing anything. Maybe it's frozen. <clears throat> It's completely frozen shut. The code works. There's electric. The fence doesn't. I can't get in. It's frozen shut. <sighs> the joys of the side hustle. New plan. As I dig in, big shout out to KJ Kelly Jordan. A friend requested me on Facebook. We just got a few totes to look through. We've got a couple of Asian fans here. Uh, we got Conway Twitty record, nothing in there. Uh, we got a plaque here. All I want is a little peace and quiet. Give me a little peace and I'll be quiet. Huh? All I want is a little peace and quiet. Give me a little peace and I'll be quiet. I don't get it. Huh? All I want is... I don't, I don't get it. I'm too pure. All right, uh, we've got some other little trinkets here and there. Look at this here. Coca-Cola. We all know how, how well Coca-Cola does, so pop opener there, Coca-Cola. And looks like we got more Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola Deer in a Coca-Cola cup. Made in England. Original price tag, $6.49. We've got a lettering pen set. Let's see if we can get that open. How do we get that open? I'm not sure how we get that open. Oh, there we go. There we go. It looks like a fountain pen, which isn't the first fountain pen that I've found in this unit either. So, oh, here we go. Valentine's Day double lottery ticket. Match numbers nine. Hey, this is a $1 winner. I have never played the lottery before in my life, but I think I'm going to go get a dollar. Fred Flintstone magnet. Uh, let's see what else we got. A little porcelain. Actually, that's a salt shaker or pepper. I don't know which is which. We've got McDonald's car. That is a Hot Wheels, 1993. Looks like we've got some more cars down here as well. A few more. Oh, there we go. For you coin collectors, the lucky penny right there. So penny within a magnet. There's one more set we made back. What's this? Lego writing system. So this looks like it's a Lego pen you put together, the parts and pieces. That's pretty cool. Let's see if there's a date. Um, uh, 1999, right there. Probably hard for you to see with the glare. Boxcar Willie. Another, another eight track. We've got, let's hope for more silver certificates. We got Jesus. We got uh, St. Anthony. And Dale Earnhardt. I guess they all three. I think you got the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There you go. Dale Earnhardt. What year are these cards? Um, 1996. Those Dale Earnhardt cards might actually be worth something. We'll see. We got a lot of porcelain down here. Let's see what I can get to without having to unwrap everything. There's a Santa Claus. Obviously a craft. Looks like you would actually paint. Look at these. We got some plates down here. Maybe these are collector plates. There you go. Christmas plates. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's John Wayne, isn't it? John Wayne. There's other John Wayne stuff. 
see what else we have. We've probably got a briar horse here. I can get in there. Ooh, come on back here, horsey. Let's see. It's got the stamp underneath there. The Essentials of Spelling. There's a lot of old antique books. Electric Educational Series. This looks like another... No, this isn't a book. This is... Picture? I don't think that's personal, but... Looks cool. More antique books. Wonderland. We got Lassie. You want to see those a little bit closer. Looks like they might have got these garage sale. Let's see what else we got here. We got some more Graceland for the Elvis lover. I'm at the end of this. I'm going to show you how much Elvis stuff there is. This just there's a bunch. Oops, spoon holder. That one almost got away from me. What's this? Alright, the rest of this bubble wrap is going to take a bit to get into it. If I find anything good, I'll show it to you. Found a couple more cool things. This is another Elvis salt shaker or pepper shaker. As is this, obviously Elvis lover, but the best thing ever. Ha <laughs> ha! Ketchup. This is going on my fridge. Those who don't know, I love my ketchup. Uh, we got a Fred Flintstone magnet, and we got a psychedelic candle. Now, I get so many candles. I'm going to show you here just in a second how many candles I get. This is my five-gallon bucket of candles. I melt these all down, and I turn them into fire starters with lint and egg cartons when I go camping. I got more candles than I know what to do with. Let's see what we got here. Got a whole bunch of pieces of wood. We got puzzle saver. Some kind of freaky deaky Radio Shack dog with weirdest nipples I've ever seen. Huh. This looks like, yeah bunch of buttons this looks like a complete and total craft bin wait 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 not yet it's not all crafts because the king is back in action but most of this this looks like crafts scissors and yeah let's see what's in this canister here there's another coke canister let's see what's in there um, a Coke can, a Coke something, there's a bunch of Coke stuff in here. Huh. Didn't expect to see that. But most of this just looks like craft supplies. For you John Wayne lovers, here are the John Wayne items that I found in this unit. This is a hand-painted figure of John Wayne. I'm going to take the glass off so you can see him. And then there was Elvis. Pictures and books, posters and plates, records, and salt shakers and tins and eight tracks. There's the Elvis collection. Back at the storage unit facility and just gonna have to manhandle this thing. Don't have the sledgehammer with me, but I'm gonna take care of business. Twenty-five bucks. I don't think it could go wrong with twenty-five bucks. Here's the initial look. I'm gonna grab this desk, this TV stand, this other little desk, this TV, 
probably even the aquarium out of the way and then we'll get to the boxes. This is the furniture that I moved out of the way. The desk being the nicest piece needs cleaned up. Obviously these old TV carts, they're just, they're, they're obsolete anymore with flat screens. They did have a snake and fish and any unit when you get three, there's actually a fourth TV down there like that, you know there's not gonna be all that great of stuff. So this right here, this is donations of clothing, lots of coats in there, so I'm gonna get that to, to donate as soon as possible. This garbage, and then I've got this to sort through on top of a futon. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually go through the boxes as I load up. I'm not going to do an actual unboxing unboxing. I'm going to show you the highlights. If I get a good box, I'll show you the highlights from it. Because some of this, as we look at this unit, you know, 25 bucks, eh, we'll see if we get something, okay? And I'll show it to you if we do. One of the things I find interesting, only because I've never actually seen it before in a unit, these guys were into basket weaving. So there's all kinds of unfinished basket weaving projects and bags in here. Unfortunately, not much I can do. Never been much of a basket weaver. Always crack jokes about weaving baskets. But you might have figured that out by now that I crack jokes just about everything. I did find some rather interesting items that I didn't anticipate in there. I love toys. Somebody was a Kermit the Frog collector. And we've got some Pezzes in there. We've got Kermit the Frog memorabilia. All cool stuff. There'll be more that you can see as well. But here, here was a beautiful find. Some of you know the value of old Matchbox cars. Not only is this an old case, but we've got, got it filled with the old cars. Some of you probably know the value of these right off the top of your head better than I do. What a beautiful find in there. Sometimes you get lucky. So right here, this is a case from 1976. That was thrilling. Now, we already saw the video games, but we didn't see what video games it were. they were. We've got a controller, and we've got uh, Smackdown, oh, Scooby-Doo for the Wii. We've got PSP, 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 got Guitar Hero, Rocket Legends, PSP, God of the War, Sims 3, Sims 3, Gun Smackdown. Looks like we've got some old PlayStation in here too. We sure do. PS1. So we've got Smackdown. Scooby-Doo, that looks like it's for the computer. Age of Empires. Got another PSP. And we've got a flash drive. Always interesting to see what's on those flash drives. Got about 50 of them at home. More Kermit the Frog. Never have enough. Although I did not find the actual lunchbox. I have the thermos, but no lunchbox. Got another Kermit set over here dinnerware to match the one you already saw and then this was a pleasant surprise i got a silver dome tent northwest territory now it's brand new and i and i don't doubt it uh we had a number of stores go out of business here and they probably picked it up right there from that business never used it from kmart Hi -hoo! more cover the frog lots of it and this one particularly we have a up and down, Fisher Price, the old, the old Fisher Price. You always know, look for the old number on all the Fisher Price toys. So those are pretty collectible. Speaking of old collectible toys, there's Play School as well. And again, I love this stuff. Play School right here. So this is a horse, uh, and with a thing on the end. Cool thing that would probably be somebody's childhood memory. They'd love to have this Christmas. Here's a Polaroid camera in the case that was a nice little find there check this out even tupperware by the way tupperware used to no that was rubbermaid was in worcester ohio where i live uh tupperware made toys and some of the original puzzle toys like this uh, these can go upwards 25 30 40 dollars come around christmas time but you gotta have the original you gotta have all the pieces we got beanie babies as well and we always want to check 
on the actual tags. Misspellings, misprints always make those Beanie Babies all the more collectible. So they still do have value if you have the right one. We got, oh, there's Jack. Most of you guys sometimes tell me, I don't know Jack, but I know my toys. Oh, gotcha. I think I had that one as a kid. That one's by Mattel. And don't think we're going to find a date on it. Yep. Yeah, we are. 1971. So I'm pretty sure I had that one as a kid. It was definitely in the church nursery. We got more Pez. We got more Kermit. I thought these were just kind of cool. I don't even know what they're for. They're like brass boots. Maybe it's a paperweight. There's no markings on them whatsoever, but they've got some weight to them. I thought they were neat, so I set those aside just to check those out. You got Gumby and Pokey as well, and you never, ever have enough leather for someone very small. But if you're going to wear your leather, you got to wear your Harley jacket too. So that was cool finding that. Something else I found... We've got, we got either a Girl Scouts or Brownie Sash. So those, those do pretty well too, if you can sell it to the right person looking on eBay. And then we got another Fisher Price toy right here. So we've got the music box. I'll just turn that up a little bit. This one from 1987, as you can see right there. And remember, Fisher-Price always has a number. So those toys have a number, and you can look that up in regards to their collectability. Now, another company is Tomy. And I love Tomy. Tomy made the original Big Loader. Tomy made a, a ton of very, very cool toys. Well, this one here, I'm just going to swing it on over here, which I didn't think I would find, but here it is. This is the Kimberly Cutouts. Tomy, and it's basically, it's like making paper dowels, but you do the rub crayon over the pieces, and you make your dowel that way. So, all complete, pretty cool. Found another beanie giraffe as well. And one other thing, I did find a piece of jewelry. I don't think it's silver, but there you go. I'll have to check that out later. Mom was definitely into Pampered Chef and was selling Pampered Chef as a side hustle. So we got a nice display bag there. And we also got these cups. I think these are yep, McDonald's cups right there, 1981. And this box is filled with the McDonald's cups of the Muppets. So that's a pretty cool thing there too. There are some other things in here, like there's a ball jar. But I, I enjoy finding that. I like those. Now, this... This is where it's at. You find a box like this and you're starving because you haven't eaten all day. Oh, that's where it's at. Please, Ann. No, no, no. Well, I did want a Jelly Belly, but not going to get any. But that's okay. We're going to get something here. We see sports cards. And there's definitely sports card collection in here. We got all kinds of cards. There's Magic's Moments right there. Again, I have so many cards. I don't, I don't even know what to do with them. I gotta find somebody to price them and make an offer for me. These look like they're all gonna be, look at that, there's the old Bulls. These are all gonna be basketball cards. Wow. I remember some of those teams. And we're not gonna look at that. Sorry about that. Just a few more things that I found that I thought were pretty cool. You've got these lights that you hang, whether they're Christmas lights or whether they're Halloween lights or what have you. Uh, but they look pretty cool. And I thought those were neat. Now, this would be collectible for sure if you remember the old Poppables. And this is a sleeping bag, 1986. Not like Strawberry Shortcake, not like uh, the Care Bears, but... That needs a lot of help. And then I found what I believe to be the scariest thing I have ever found in a storage unit. And trust me, I have found a lot of things. This bears a likeness to the most evil, the most hideous, 
scary thing I've ever known in my life. <laughs> and it's life size! Yee! Yikes! I have everything out of the unit and I'm going to show you the behind the scenes because I want you to realize how much work actually goes into it. This is what I think may actually have some value online. This is going to go to donations. That's clothing. All of this. All of this. This is the garbage. 80% maybe of the unit. This over here and this scrap metal. This I think may have some resale value in regards to a garage sale. But that's the reality. A 20 foot trailer from a small unit, vast majority, it's garbage. And there it is, right there. And somehow, some way, I'm the one that has to get rid of it. So, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You never know what the hells I'm gonna buy and do next, so you might as well keep up to date with it. And remember, life is always an adventure. Wait, 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 wait. George isn't here. Power went out. I'm all messed up right now. Adventure awaits. Go find it. And we're going tomorrow morning to 20 units in Akron, and you want to be there for it. Jeremy's log, 11. I think it's 16, 18. Time has escaped my mind since last night's events. There were explosions in the sky, and many Facebook conspiracy theorists quickly stated that we were under attack, but I was smart enough to know that it was the, the ice storm. Transformers blew up everywhere. I've been without power almost 12 hours. YouTubers probably think that that guy from that unit in Medina came back to wreak havoc on me, but I'm okay. I haven't replied to comments in half a day. They probably aren't surviving without me right now. But that's okay because I am surviving. I was able to make a fire to keep warm. I would never tell YouTubers because the haters would go in full advanced Dungeon and Dragons troll mode, but... I made my fire out of lint, old candles, old photographs, personal items, birth certificates, social security cards from people's storage units. I had to do what I had to do to survive. <laughs> they would never understand. My rations are going okay. I'm living off of Cheetos and boogers right now, but in all reality, that's the way it is every day because I don't know how to cook. <sighs> I'm hoping the power comes back on soon. My biggest fear right now, I'm living in Amish paradise. I don't want to be Amish. I don't. I don't want to be Amish. <laughs>